I am home. Hello, Greek key exotics, my people. This is my routine that I do when I get home early. First, now let these mongrels out. The Conyers. Hello, the African Grey. And the Galah. Next stop, the reptile room. I come in here and check on everybody's humidity. If they need a spray, I will spray them. That one needs to be sprayed a little bit. Oh, that frog be burying himself, but he's right where I'm spraying at. All right. That one could use a little something, something. Okay. He's a fucking spaz. Hi. Hi. Hello. Okay, bye. Now I'm gonna switch some lights around. Oh. Uh, hello. Did you eat all your biddles? Hello, Rosie. Okay, that's Rosie. Switch off this one, put the heat one on. Switch off this one, put the heat one on. Put her light on. Turn on her fogger. Yep. All right, next stop, the dog. Just checking out the Cayman lizards real quick. They are inside because we had a cold snap again in Florida. So this is a very, very temporary enclosure for them. I'll actually show you their enclosure in a second because I got another lizard I need to check on. But check out little Marie. She's all blue. Congo! Come on, Congo. Oh, Lord. Gotta take him out. I'm gonna check on the outside animals. Come on, Kiko. Hey, baby. Somebody out here to check on. This is where the caiman lizards actually live. It's an eight by four by four enclosure. But that water gets a little too cold and I don't have a pond heater, so. She gets to hang out in here for a while. And she gets locked up in that box that has a brooder and a heating pad. I'll show you. So because it'll be too cold for her, boom. She has a heating pad and a brooder to stay warm. Where's Yoshi? Hey, Yoshi Doshi. Your injuries, you're recovering really good from your injury. Hi, buddy. One more shed and that's all gone, huh? Come on, Congo. Come on, Congo. And now we feed everybody. All right, so next I gotta give my dog his meds. He has Cushing's disease. So he has to take three pills once a day. So he takes these things for his Cushing's disease. And then he's got to take an antibiotic, one of these big ass pills, but he's a chihuahua. He is old and his teeth don't work like they used to. So now my poor guy has to get all this crushed and I'll show you how I do that. So very simple, I put some 
soft food in for him to eat. What I do is I take a little bit of this gravy here, pour that like that. Since these are capsules, I just take them and whoop, roofie my dog. this around to kind of kill the flavor. Boop. Take some more. Put it right on top. And then this big ass pill. I crush it. So with Buddy, he's 13, he's a 13 year old Chihuahua. He'll be 14 this year in August. He has Cushing's disease from taking too much medication for MUE. So basically he had a disorder in his brain that'll make him spin and spin and spin and spin until he was so exhausted he would like literally just pass out or fall over. It was really scary. So he was on medication for three years and because of that medication, it damaged his liver so bad that now he has Cushing's disease. Well, these pills, I guess, are really hard to get. And because it's Cushing's disease, it's considered an autoimmune disorder, which messes with his cortisol. So his skin is really fucked up. So now he's got to take antibiotics and this stuff to help his skin get better. You might get a flash, you might not of what he looks like, it's pretty bad. So I try to keep him off camera because it's, it's bad. Um, he's not in any pain. He's just really uncomfortable. If you can imagine having a bunch of pimples on your ass that just itch and then when they pop, you know, I guess, what are they called, risers? That's basically what he's going through. So I will take this beautiful gourmet meal to him. I'll be right back. So I'm preparing a collared meal for my sail fin. These are frozen. I actually picked these at a U-Pick farm in Umatilla, Florida. Freaking awesome. You get a huge five pound bucket or five gallon bucket. Five pound, Jesus. Five gallon bucket and you can stuff it as much as you want and you pay $5 for it. So I'm actually starting to run low. But this I am making for my sailfin dragon. She doesn't eat too much. And I'll spray this with water and stuff so it's nice and soft for her when she eats it. All right, this is my sailfin's meal. I'm not putting any calcium. I only do calcium about three times a week for her. And today's not the day. I usually, I used to do it Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Now I just do it Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So here's her meal. Yeah, she got his food and took no time to waste. And if he's a big boy. He just needs a baby. God damn it, where can I put this? Um, I don't put it on the floor because I'm lazy. Right, we will. Sorry about that, folks. My dog's food. Bam, bam. I'm gonna make him something special tonight. Boom. Nice big plate of food for the bobo. Fed my girl some greens, my sweet Rosie baby. Look how big she is. She's so big. She's like 38 inches long. She's huge. Actually, I don't know how long she is. I'm gonna figure all that out. I know my bubble. I know my Rosie. I know.
And last but not least, this fucking nasty shit that smells like sour milk. It's for the marmosets. And then my husband puts bananas and oranges yeah, in oranges. it for them. They fucking go crazy for this shit. Watch. And now it's time to feed the monkeys. They eat this shit that smells like sour milk. It fucking smells horrible. It's called Marmoset Diet by Zupreme. And then my husband mixes oranges and bananas in it. Because one thing that this diet doesn't have is vitamin C. And they need it. And the bananas just taste good. And they love the Marmoset Diet more than the fruits. Which is weird because it just smells so bad. And guess what? What comes out must go back in. Ow! Alright, here's the food. Do a little switcheroni. Boom, boom. The monkeys are tearing up shit already. Lola! Or is that Ace? Ace! Hi, the boopos. There's Lola. Lola! I'll do another video on how we can tell them apart besides looking at their peepees and their tutus. Ace! Ace has more white on his forehead. I'll show you guys in a better video. And then Lola has more black. Lola! Come eat your biddles.